What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Antoine here. We're back on another video. We're back with the other video on the channel. In today's video, well, it's going to be another random video because today's video, we are here to talk about college football 2025. If you guys do not know, or you guys have been sleeping on the rocks lately, uh, EA has announced a couple years ago, or dating back when I made the, the video of uh, me, um, I'll talk about the EA making an announcement of uh, college football, to, uh, making another college football game. They made an announcement that they, uh, you know, they made a college football game at the time. Well, here you guys are. We are in 2024, and this is going to be called College Football 2025 uh, because obviously this is a college football game that's going to the 2024 2025 season. So, College Football 2025, um, it's here. Uh, it's already, they already got the trailer that's going out. I'll show you guys in the background of it all, all the things, details. If you want to pause it, whatever, do what you got to do. I'm sure you guys the trailer here and there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and also I have muted the, the whole music because of it's the copyright, you know, system. I don't want to get copyrighted. And plus I want to get all out to you guys as much as I can. And uh yeah, I mean this is um this is pretty uh interesting. Um uh, for all you guys uh you don't know, I am a huge college, you know, college, you know, fan. I'm a football fan in general, regardless of NFL or or uh, college, you know, football, regardless because, you know, um it's it's a really good game, you know. What I'm saying I adored college football more than you know than you know than NFL, you know, uh, you know NFL because a lot of restriction in the NFL compared to college, you know. What I'm saying so good, you know. What I'm saying the fan base, the atmosphere, teams are so different, not the same. It just it just makes what talk it just makes what college football so special compared to the NFL and. And that, for that reason, that, for that reason, that reason, I, uh, that reason only, I'm just, I'm just happy that that you know college football is finally returning. I really wish college football basketball would be here. That would really be nice if EA can make a basketball game, or 2K, you know, can make a basketball game too as well for college. That would be really be awesome, man. But nonetheless, though, we got college football 2025. Um, you know, saying that's that's coming out around July, mid July, so. Um, you know, saying so. If you want to pre-order it right now, you go ahead and pre-order if you want to. Um, you know, saying I'm, I, you know, saying, but you know, I'm gonna get my full, full thoughts about you know all that down below. But um, no, let's though. Let's talk about the trailer real quick before we get into the nitty degrees about like what's like coming forward in uh college football 2025. Because I already make like a question, you know, question and answer marks was gonna be happening. Um, I want to go by down by detail by details of it uh, after I talk about the whole trailer and, and looking at the trailer and all that. Um, but I want to talk about you know the, the trailer first. Sorry if I'm a little bit. But I want to talk about the trailer first, and then I want to talk about you know all the needed greets and what's going to be looking forward in college football 2025. So um, yeah, um, yeah, let's talk about the trailer real quick. Obviously, you know in the college football 2025 trailer, EA trailer, of course. Uh, they showed off different schools from different uh, different teams. It comes like over 100 schools, over a lot of people. And also on top of this, though, uh, you see the 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 jerseys of many people on the back of the jerseys and all type of stuff. You know, you got the Johnson, you got the Moore dude, you got the Hunter Hunter guy from uh, Colorado. Um, they are um, you know, basically uh, they now have a license towards people who want to put themselves want to uh, you know. Put themselves in the games and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So basically now people who want to be in the game now are, are in the game, you know what I'm saying? We're not we don't have QB twelve or QB five and shit. We now have licensed peeps licensed people that play in real life college, you know, football games in the game. So it's really awesome to see um, you know, what's like it's really awesome that EA did this. EA EA did this because um, EA and NCAA come to agreement and did this because now we can see people coming to the game without having like a, um, a QB 12, 13, without we actually have people that's in the game. Now, unfortunately, there's this one guy named Ar Ark Manny. I think it's, um, I think that's the nephew of Eli and uh, Peyton Manny, I believe. Or is it, yeah, I think it's the nephew of Eli and Peyton Manny. Yeah, um, uh, Eli and Peyton Manny, of course. Um, unfortunately uh, for them, Unfortunately uh, for him, he's not going to be in the game because he's not signed the uh, the license to be in the game. So you probably won't be able to create him, I guess. Uh, or maybe if you can, if you can, if you can't, then understand me so. So I don't know. But no, let's though, man. Uh, the trailer looks pretty good. Obviously, they they I mean EA's trailers 
always tend to be good, but when the game comes out, it's something that's going to be horrible. But hopefully, it's not a case with college college football. But because I would hate that, because you know, over the years, ever since I believe Man Thirteen, I believe it, EA has has not had a great football game. <laughs> So this is probably going to be the first football game in a long time that everyone's going to be hyped about, but also people are going to look forward to it because it's college football. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people prefer college football over the EA football games. I, in the past, not really. But right now, hell yeah. I mean, for real, like dead ass. I prefer a college football game to play right now than the EA's of uh, NFL football, football games because they tend to be terrible. But that's not here. That's not there. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, this is this is looking uh, looking very interesting. Um, you got the helicopters. You got the uh, di- a different, you know, schools. You know, walk out. I hope they have this same shit that they have in the game instead of being the freaking trailer. Because I, the one thing that's so unique about college football compared to the NFL, they have a unique, different walkout. College football has a different, unique walkout, and the crowd is packed. I'm talking about sold out pat like a goddamn concert type shit compared to the NFLs when there's like seats, some seats or somewhere in the stadiums and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that um, they keep the same energy and all type of stuff. Um, the trailer, of course, uh, I don't know the animations here and there is going to be the same as compared to the uh, in the game. In the game, a lot of people are comparing this animation stuff to the uh, mass animations, which. It's no sursprising because you know Madden's you know animation's always been in the college football game for in the past and it's gonna be in it for now because obviously working on two different engines just tend to be hard for EA and I guess they don't want to go through that. I guess they're probably gonna go with the same old engines, um, which means I believe the Frostbite engine, which is the dog shitty engine, is gonna be probably be in college football. I know, y'all don't probably don't like the Frostbite engines. Neither do I. Ever since they moved to the Frostbite engines, there has been bugs, glitches, lag shit. It's been, it's literally been terrible. I mean, NFL's, like, uh, NFL's EA games, when they, ever since they moved to Frostbite engines, there's so many glitches, so many shit has been going around. It's so bad, man. I mean, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I think Frostbite, en- en- Frostbite, Frostbite engines is for the FPS games, not for the sports games. So, I don't know why EA decided to move to the Frostbite engine, but um, unfortunately, they're going to keep that private tradition going on until, until forever. I don't know, man. So, so yeah, I think that's going to happen. I think we're going to have a Frostbite engine going to college. I mean, if y'all ain't noticed, I mean, they, they already, like, test out the whole entire college shit that's going to be happening uh, back then when they added college back in the NFL uh, during the, uh, uh, what is it, face of franchise mode? Uh, when they first did a face of franchise mode, uh, in the college, you know, you went to college here and there. They they already test that whole the whole thing out um, in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what manner was that they uh they had put college, you know, uh, games in the um in their games uh, for the face of the franchise. I don't remember. Um, but they already test it out. I mean, it's very clear they already you know test out the waters and they already you know test. They already tested out. They already test out the, what the was going to be looking forward to. It was, it was already getting hints towards. Uh, what's going to happen? You know, what I'm saying towards the, uh, you know, towards uh, the, um, towards the, towards the uh, game when they're going to put uh, college football games into the game when, with the frostbite engine. It's no surprise. So, um, I'm not surprised by it. So, yeah. Um, uh, but nonetheless, though, um, uh, yeah, the trailer looks pretty good. I get a set out of ten, seven out of ten. It looks pretty good. I just hope that they keep the same old energy, um, uh, you know, in, from the trailer to. To the gameplay, I really wish that they show us the gameplay and what's going to happen, what it will look like. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be similar to the Madden's, um, you know, gameplay. It's going to be different. I know a lot of people are going to make that narrative up and say that, that it's the same thing. And, yeah, it is the same thing. And that they're going to have the same old uh, Frostbite engines. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? I know that. You know what I'm saying? And, and to me, I really wish... I really wish... It's just my opinion. I really wish that, that, that EA... Have different engines for both different uh, football games because if it's too some similar and then they keep adding this as years go on and on, it's gonna make it so dull and boring. And I hope and I hope that's not the case for the college football thing. For the college football thing, I lost my voice again. I hope it's not that case, but but it looks like it might be the case. But like I say, I hope it's not. Hopefully, that in the near future they do add different engines, but they're not going to. I think they're gonna probably use this route. Are having the same engines in both college football and in the NFL because 
it makes it easier for them, I guess. So who knows, man? I like I I hope that there's a different engine out there that maybe they can use, but they're probably not going to use. They probably use the Frostbite engine. Um, but anyway, besides that though, like I said, trailer's good, not too bad. The schools look different. You know what I'm saying? No similarities of animations of the outros. Uh, or not, not no, not the outros, but intros. You know what I'm saying? You know how football players been doing the intros. The different schools have the different intros and all type of stuff. The different outros. You know the hype. You know what I'm saying? When their team, you know, you know, scores touchdowns and stuff, it looks so different. So I'm, I'm glad that they're doing that, which is, um, which is super awesome. But, um, yeah, man. I mean, this is this looks this. I lost my voice again. This looks like a pretty interesting. Um, this looks like a pretty interesting game. But we're gonna have to see and wait um, until we, you know, see the whole gameplay of the game. I really wish they show us the gameplay. Of the game right off the rip, but I guess we have to wait till later time, or wait till the when the full game's out when all the other content creators or partner EA partners have shown the game early game access to it, and to see what the game is going to be really really about. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So we're, we're just got to wait and see. I really hope though that EA does you know show us the gameplay before we buy it, or it probably gonna go with the same route what they do in the NFL game, just have allow uh EA you know creators. Or the accessors, you know, show out the game first before we, you know, play it ahead of time. Show out their gameplay and all that. And then, you know, you know what I'm saying? They're probably going to go with that route. I really wish they, you know, give us a free trial or whatever. But they're probably going to go with the route where EA content creators will play it first. And then people who got early access will play it first. Early access will play it first. And then we're going to have to make up our mind where if we want to buy the game early on or later, later down the road. So who knows? So, um, yeah. Like I said, pretty good trailer. I just really wish we showed the gameplay of it. You know what I'm saying? But... Overall, looks pretty good, though, but, I mean, like I say, EA has track records on making great trailers, but when it comes to the game, it comes dog shit, and I hope it's not for the, for the college football, because if it is, I'm gonna be, I'll be pissed. I'll be, literally be pissed, and then have to make another random video of this shit, but, uh, but, uh, no less, though, um, yeah, man, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, yeah, pretty good trailer. All right, let's talk about the knee degrees real quick, because I know a lot of you guys are wondering what's gonna go down What's happening? So first thing, when, I know you guys are going to be wondering, it was when's this game going to be coming out? Mid July. Uh, people going to have early access to it if you buy the deluxe edition, whenever. So coming out early July. I'm uh, not early July. Late, uh, mid July. Sorry. So in in uh, like uh like in two months basically. So um, so yeah, that's that. Um, is it going to be on? What system is going to be on? It's probably going to be on PlayStation Five, Xbox One. It's not gonna be a PlayStation 4. No, it's, it's gonna be a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S. I think that's the two system they're gonna be running with. Um, they're not gonna be running with no no PlayStation 4, no, 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 no Xbox One, no none of that. No PC, unfortunately. Not gonna be able to mod things, whatever. So unfortunately, for all the PC PC people out there, you got to wait till next year. So for all the Xbox Five players, uh, for all the Xbox Five players, Xbox Series X players and S. We're, we're going to be the only two going to be having this game. And yes, it will be cross-platform, so you can play with different people online with different platforms. So, unfortunately, all the PC players out there, I am terribly sorry. You're going to have to wait probably to next year, or or they probably just don't want to do it at all. Or or you could just, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know when they're going to put PC in cosplay games, but not this year, unfortunately. So, um... So yeah, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series uh, X and, and, and S will be the only two things that are gonna be uh, they're gonna be you know playable for this game. Once again, I do apologize. I really am sorry for all the PC players out there who are gonna have to just wait till next year, probably. I don't know. But anyways, what else? Uh, Road to Glory. They're going back to the old traditional PlayStation 2 Road to Glory, to where not only you have to focus on on the field uh, priority, no, on the field priorities. But also all the field priorities. Meaning, meaning you can now got to focus on not only that your not only that your team winning, your attributes and all type of stuff, but your GPA will be a thing too as well. I remember back in places in two days. Remember back in places two days, the in NCAA 06, 07 days, where uh, if you don't meet a requirement GPA, which is 2.0, you uh, you meet lower than that, you won't be able to play. They're gonna go with this route with the Road of Glory thing. I like it because not only you got to focus on on the on-field stuff to get your team to win, you know what I'm saying? But also, off-the-field stuff to, you know, not only, you know, get yourself better, uh, like, you know, when it comes to not only uh, uh, with your attributes, but also in the classroom. So, 
that's going to play a factor. So um, I'm glad they're going with that route. I think this is the route that they should go with it. It makes so much sense because, you know, you're in, you're in college. You know what I'm saying? You don't just focus on players playing football. You got to go be good in the classroom. That's why I keep telling you, you little kids out there, stay in school. Please stay in school. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's 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 what's going to happen, Road to Glory. I don't know if they're going to go with the route with the high school to the college thing, or they're going to go with the campus legend route where it basically be like a, a combine, college combine, whatever, and Pacific schools, uh, if you do good, Pacific schools will choose you, you know, get a full scholarship on. I don't know. Maybe campus legend route they might go with, but I hope and pray that they go with the route with the high school uh, route like, like, like they've been doing for the past couple of years in the NCAA college football form because that gave us not only enough opportunity for us to get like more scholarships for uh, for people coming out of high schools, but also it it you know it's it, it, yeah basically it gives it gives more opportunity you know yeah basically I hope high school is the case because I would love to see that but only time will tell they could go with the route of literally having a campus legends or just. Or just, um, or just, or just, um, you know, basically just high school to college, what level, whatever they can decide to do. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that's that. Uh, Dynasty mode. Uh, this year, Dynasty mode, we will have a online Dynasty mode. So basically, online Dynasty mode, you can go go beat, go and get people while doing online Dynasty type stuff. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, but just beware, EA servers are dog shit. So you're gonna expect some lag shit. So it's it's gonna be some bullshit. So um. Yeah, but Dynasty Mode is going to have the same old thing that we had in Instant Play 14 and 13. Um, it's going to be the same old thing, you know, create, your, create your, your your coaching, whatever, build, you know, your team from this worst team ever to now try to be the number one best team in the country, whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, typical Dynasty Mode, you know, thing that we, things that we've been doing in Instant Play type stuff um, from past Instant Play games, so it's nothing, nothing different. So, um, yeah, that's that. All right, so I had an online dynasty. I forgot to mention that. I, I remember. Uh, what else? I I think the I'm not going to talk about the whole entire campus IQ, whatever they call it, because they just talk about the new mechanics, whatever they have. I I don't believe it until I see it. So until EA gives us a gameplay, I ain't going to talk about that. It's all about the new mechanic, what mechanic wise, how the different uh, attribute, whatever type of show, type of like basically animation, marking speech type of bullshit like they did in the film. Um, EA has been using. Let's talk about how they're so different with their animation type stuff. I I don't care about that. I mean, I need the gameplay of it. So the campus IQ, whatever they want to call it, I don't care. That don't mean nothing to me. But if you want to go ahead and, and look at that, go ahead and look at that. Um, what else? I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I said talk about that. Talk about that. Yeah, this and that. Or the glory dicey mode cams IQ. There's got to be something else. I, I I literally left on the table. I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, Ultimate Team. Of course, Ultimate Team team is going to be on. Going to be in college, so it's no surprising. So, Ultimate Team, of course, over 100 plus schools going to be in the game. 100 plus schools going to be in the game. We now have licensed players now um, um, that wants to be in the game. So, uh, yeah. Um, what else? Um, there's something else. There's something else. I'm mean, really trying to like. Oh yeah, broadcasters. We got different broadcasters um this season too as well. We're not gonna have the same old broadcaster that we had in the EA NFL games. No, that we're gonna have different broadcasters um in the um in the um in in the in, in the dice in in this game. So it's gonna be really awesome. So we're gonna have different broadcasters in this game. So that's gonna be awesome. So broadcasters will be a huge thing coming into the game. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, what else? Uh. Oh yeah, the college atmosphere is gonna be interesting. I mean, man, it's gonna be there's gonna be so much shit that's gonna be happening in this game, man. And I, I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna, I, I ain't fully prepared, but who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, shit. I think is, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Because I think I said pretty much everything. But I'm trying to think. Oh, is, is there gonna be a mascot game? I don't think they're gonna have a mascot game. I don't think that's not gonna happen. I really wish there had to be a mascot game, but. I don't think they're probably gonna have a mascot game, nor a simulation game, because there used to be a simulation game games back in um the uh, NCAA games. Unfortunately, they're not gonna have uh, moments of the NCAA moments that happened over the past years and so. They're not gonna have those moments in the game. So, no mascots, no NCAA moments, no simulation moments, no no none of that. So that's that's off the table, I believe. I could be wrong though, but that's off the table. Um. 
was there anything else that I'm missing that I I I, I think I'm missing? Um, there's gonna be the soundtracks. It's gonna be copyright though, but who cares? I don't know. <laughs> I'll try to make things up to make sure I, I'm, I'm not missing anything because all all the things I'm saying right now are key things you guys you guys should know, but there's other things you probably don't know. So I'm trying to understand it, but I think that's pretty much it. That based off of I know. Now, if I get the, I'm curious if you guys would tell me in the comments of what what things you, you don't know. But based on what I know, this is why I know. So uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I think that's everything I talked about in the trailer and everything else. Uh, this is a seven out of ten trailer. It's really good though, but I hope that the gameplay they give us would be nice though. But I think they go with the route of literally having content creators, e content creators, and people had early access. People had early outs, early access to the game to play it first before we do. So who knows? Um, but yeah, I think I talked about everything else. I don't think there's nothing else to say. Um, honestly, man. Um, hopefully they don't fuck up this fucking game. If they do fuck up EA. Yeah, if you fuck up college football 2025 and there's some buzz and glitches and shit, and some I lost my voice. There's some buzz and glitches and shit that's going on to the game that that we we don't know about. Man, I'm gonna be furious, man. I'm gonna be super furious. So, so yeah, man, we're gonna have to wait and see, see how this game goes and see how it it it, it transpires. Um, now the question is, um, am I gonna buy this off rip? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna buy this off rip. I'm going to probably read a couple months of me buying it and just see how this game is. And if it goes great, I'll buy it. I'll make a series over it. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of series in my mind to make over in this game. But if it's dog shit, then I'm I'm not buying. I'm not buying it. I'm not probably not going to buy. I'm probably never going to buy another college football. I'm, I'm probably never going to buy um, a football game probably ever because I really am want. I really want to buy this game to really consider buying this game. But. If it's dog shit and I see some really bullshit going on into into the modes I'm mentioning in this game in general, I'm I'm probably done officially done buying uh, football games ever because let's be honest, EA they they're not gonna change anything. They have track record of not changing anything, so hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully they do make some changes. Hopefully this is a, a step in the right direct direction. Hopefully this is a step in the right direction of the um. Of the whole entire, you know, college, you know, you know, thing and football in general, because maybe if this college football 2025 does go out, be successful, which it probably is because this game hasn't been. We haven't played a college football game in over 11 years, I believe. I think 11 years. Yeah, 11 years. It's been since 2013 since we had a college football game. Because NCAA 14 was the last uh, football game. So a lot of people are going to run with this regardless if it's good or bad. But. So those hardcore, you know, foot class football, football fans like myself, we have to wait and see. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna wait until, until, uh, to wait until you know we get all the results in and my, many consequences play this and 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 they see how it is, and then and, and you know what I'm saying and then and then see how it goes from there. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I mean, I'm gonna wait till I buy it. So, um, so uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it on everything I talked about on the whole entire college football trailer. 7 out of 10, really good. I really wish there was a gameplay a little bit, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Um, let me know if you got any more questions about this. Like, I'll fully you know, answer it, all of them in the comment section down below. In the comment section down below, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a great trailer, but hopefully the gameplay, hopefully we get the gameplay. You know, EA's track record, when it comes to great trailers, it's always leads some of the bad things. Who knows? Hopefully it's not the case when it's called football, football game, but only time will tell. So, um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about the trailer. And uh, are you going to buy this game off rip or are you going to wait till then? Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I ain't got enough to say. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, take care. I'm out. Peace. Nice.